Hello, this is Anton over at thehyperadvisor.com and in this episode I'm going to show the installation of the Cloud Stack Management Server. Um, it's the, of course, the central management piece similar to vCenter or, um, let me see, SEVMM from Microsoft. Uh, and it will be the cloud controller piece to manage the virtual machines and provisioning virtual machines and orchestrating all that piece. So let's get into the installation. Um, in this environment, I'm, I'm in my lab. So I'm going to install it as a virtual machine on Hyper-V. Uh, don't laugh, but this is what I have to install on. You can install as a VM and, and VMware or you can install it on bare metal depending on your implementation. Uh, the setups that I'm going through are more lab based so depending on your needs and requirements you may want to deviate and add in say replication on the, the database, the MySQL database or um, when we get to installing the, the host uh, maybe implementing VLANs or dedicated uh, ports for or bonded networks for storage or different networks. So let's get into the installation for the management piece here and as I said I'm going to install it on Hyper-V here so we're going to go ahead and create a new virtual machine and we're going to call it CloudStack MGMT01 we're going to give it a certain amount of RAM here. I'm just going to give it one gig. Connect it to the network. Um, we'll, we'll see in, in Hyper-V that even though we're uh, creating a network and setting it up here now, there's, there's a little extra piece you're going to have to do after you install the operating system uh, to get the drivers and everything in place. configure the storage and the location where it's going and we'll attach the ISO here for CentOS 6.3 and we're using the minimum version so the installation will go pretty quick there's uh, not much you really need in the way to install outside of the cloud stack stuff so the minimum in install would probably be preferred so you, you at least get less junk that you have to clean up. Let's go ahead click finish. Okay so now that the virtual machine has been created we can go ahead and power this on. We'll go ahead and connect to it to, to the console here. We'll power it on. And it's not going to let us capture the mouse here, so we'll get rid of that message and we'll pretty much do keyboard from uh, this point on. Now, there, there are other ways of installing. Of course, you could have had a template and you could be doing this from a template or you could be using some kind of um, deployment process for installing the, the operating system here. Uh, I'm assuming that there is no you know system out there that you can do automatic deployments to bare metals or virtual machines so I'm starting from scratch here so during the process we'll skip the, uh, the disk check and we're pretty much just going to go through the basic install here if you've seen this before this this is fairly simple so we'll speed through this this process 